just because you file a form with the court and the court puts a stamp on it, that doesn't mean it's approved. The clerk's office is not the judgment assistant or judicial assistant that works in the courtroom. The, the uh, clerks that take your money, stamp your forms, and this is everything from the petition to your declaration of service to your income and expense declaration. I don't care what it is. The court, the clerks are not reviewing it. They're just stamping it. They could be completely blank and they'll probably just stamp it. They're told not to give legal advice and instructing people on how to do the forms is technically legal advice. So that is not their job. So I bring this up because I had clients today who said, um, Tim, why are you amending this form? And I said, because there's an error on it and it's going to cause the judgment to be rejected. And they say, well, that's not true because the, the court accepted it. The court didn't accept it. They put a stamp on it. Nothing is reviewed until you turn in your judgment. Then the judicial assistant will pull your entire file, review all documents, and then you'll get a rejection. Maybe your judgment's okay. I doubt it. But maybe let's say the judgment was fine. Prior documents will cause the judgment to reject. And because they haven't been reviewed until you turn in the judgment, that's why when you, if you've been through this or you're going to submit your judgment, the judgment could get rejected for half dozen or a dozen reasons because there could have been errors on your petition, your proof of service, any procedural document that you filed prior to the judgment. 